What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the show. Today, I'm taking you through my workout routine, slightly adjusted it to three days a week instead of two. And then I'm gonna take you shopping keto style because I got a juicer in the mail and we're gonna put it to you. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. I've got my veg here. I got my juicer here. Now we're gonna get this juicing on. Let's get busy with it. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. Look at that goodness right there. Celery juice, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, our first batch of celery juice. 515 grams minus the 110 gives us 405 grams of celery juice in all. Alright, so we're going to finish adding up the last bit of celery we just juiced. 212 minus the 110 for the plastic uh, bin here. That gives us 112 more grams. Add that to the 405 grams. That brings us to a total of 517 grams of celery juice. And I'll throw up the nutrition data on the screen. What does 517 grams of celery juice look like? Looks like that right there. Mmm. Enjoy. Cheers to the potassium gains we're about to make. Mmm. Delicious! All right, everybody. I finished all the juice. Oh, yeah. I went over the numbers. I cleaned up my mess. Now let's go over the numbers because that's what matters, all right? Celery juice came in at 517 grams. At 260 milligrams per 100 grams, that gives me... 1,344.2 milligrams of potassium. Next up, we had the broccoli juice, 96 grams. All right, that's 316 milligrams of potassium per 100 grams. Gives me 303.36 milligrams of potassium, which leaves us with the spinach juice. All right, spinach juice came in at 163 grams, 558 milligrams of potassium per 100 grams. Gave me 909.54 milligrams of potassium. It is a potassium bomb. I have to say, the flavor wise, yeah, you know, right now, celery. It's basically my sweet stick, celery. Stick to the celery, maybe. Put the spinach in the celery next time. Don't just do it straight. It was real strong on the flavor. Enough of that, back to the numbers, all right? So all of that added up to, all three juices come in, 2,557.1 milligrams of potassium. Done, I drank it. I didn't spend more than Three dollars and fifty-four cents. <laughs> Juiced it, drank it, potassium bomb, boom. Oh, snap! The baked chicken! The baked chicken came out to 644 grams after I took out the bone and ate all that meat. And that gives me a total of 1,861.16 milligrams of potassium. Everything I've had so far. Add up the totals. Dun, 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 dun. That brings me to 5,133.26 milligrams of potassium. All thanks to the juice factor. I can still eat more if I want to. My calories are still low. Why? Because juicing, baby, juicing for the potassium keeps the calories low and the stomach not so full. And I got time to do other stuff. All right? That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See you next time. Keto out.